to see Ice Prince part of ranking for Major Laser. Let's continue with our chat. This was your opening performance song. Yeah. I why had to. Okay, so why did you go for this one? They told me that that one is big out here too. Um, this one and Sid. That's why I ended with Sid. Mm. So when I came out, I wanted them to recognize who I was, you know. I see. How did you do that research and uh, who gave you that information? Um, a couple of my, my team members up here from ACA. Some of them from up here. And also just like the artists that I met and people that I met. And just like um, social media. You know, people are always excited about a song um, just before I go on stage. So they, they tweeted me like, yo. I can't wait to see you perform set and I was like I picked up I was like okay nice one so when it was played and you came onto the stage yeah. did you like the war command text from the crowd yeah I did I was a little nervous man to tell you the truth because <laughs> <laughs> why were you nervous <laughs> no because I didn't know I didn't know obviously I wouldn't I would never know how big I am out here before I come out here and this is my first time out here mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so I was a little nervous I thought people would not recognize me at all so mm-hmm. I was ready for that when I came on stage but mm-hmm. they, they embraced me Okay, and I heard you encountered some challenges on the stage. Yeah. W- what all, really was it? The first one was I tripped on stage and I fell, but that was, <laughs> that was just before I came out, right? And I was just saying that, that I'm actually like excited about that. It, that didn't bother me or that didn't set me down because all my idols f- fell on stage at some point. Mm-hmm. So it's like my initiation <laughs> to the rock star. You know. and, then and was that your first time falling on the stage? My first time ever. And it happened in Ghana? In Ghana, yeah. Okay, so, so you know, at least we have a history in your music <laughs> life now. <laughs> yeah, I'll never forget that moment, ever. And then um, the sound cut. But I'm used to that, you know. I'm used to performing with just like... Um, low quality sound systems mm-hmm. i can't i came from that I, th- I think every artist comes from that mm-hmm. so i know how to improvise when they have those days so that wasn't even an issue for me mm. yeah. and i want to say you were commended um by so many industry people yeah, for I the saw. way you uh, conducted yourself when I it, it happened that. elsewhere some people feel ah is this sabotage um are the people trying no, to I'm make sure it, it wasn't i'm sure it wasn't sabotage i'm sure it's just a sound system yeah. okay so you accept that and we thank god that you have forgiven us <laughs> <laughs> so when we come mad. to south africa with our people your people also don't do that to yeah, us i wasn't even mad i'll tell you the truth. i didn't even look at it that way to tell you the truth okay yeah, uh, it means you have a positive mind now yes. have you been following our music award scheme uh, the one that invited you to come perform the the award scheme mm-hmm. now i haven't really but i just i got a chance to meet a lot of artists and i got in studio with like four artists already mm-hmm. since you came here yes I and who here. are they who are these artists um kojo q shaker um Quisi, Quisi Ata. No, 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 I haven't met Quisi Ata. I want to meet Quisi Ata. You want to meet him? Yeah, wow. I was with Kwame Eugene. Mm-hmm. Um, last night I was with Stoneboy. Okay. Yeah. Last night you were with Stoneboy. Yeah. And you've done stuff with um, Kojo Q, Kojo Q, the Shaker, and mm-hmm. um, Kwame Ata. You still know, Kwame Eugene. Kwame Eugene. Do you still want to do more? Yeah. You didn't know about all these Quisi people. Quisi Ata sent me two songs though, so I'm definitely doing that when I get home. But, mm-hmm. You know. Just to meet him. That's why I was saying the same thing about about um, Stone Boy. I said I have to meet him before I leave. Mm-hmm. Now it's like with with Chrissy, if I can arrange that for today, even if it's just like on the way to the airport. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see. So does it mean that you knew about these people before you came to town? I didn't really. I know about Stone Boy. I've, I've always been a fan of Stone Boy. Mm-hmm. You know, I've always been following him. Okay. It's just like his energy, the way he's positive, helping people. I just like his mindset, man. We just, okay. We click. Mm. Yeah. So, um, do you still want to do more? Even with a few names you've mentioned so far, do you still yeah. want to pick some great ones to do stuff with? Yeah, Sakodir. Want to do with Sakodir? Yeah. I met Sakodir, I think it was two years ago or a year ago um, at an award show in South Africa. Mm. But we didn't really get a chance to talk. It was like backstage rushing. You know, okay. Like, yeah. Now, what is the deal? I don't know if you have all your management team members representing or yeah. represented here in Ghana. Yeah. But what is the deal? What What is this collaboration deal you are doing with our people? Is it because of friendship? Is it strictly business? What is it like? It's connecting with artists that I've heard have heard about me and some of them some of them speak good about me. So it's only right that I do that when I touch their soil. It's only right. That's like it's like me paying homage to the guys that are doing it out here you know i have to do that i can't just like come here and just like try and snatch a market you know i have to pay respect to the artists one two is just me trying to grow also as an artist i have to explore i have to work with different artists with different sounds you know with different um culture shifts and whatever just so i can just like grow as an artist and as a person i see so the songs you've recorded so far yeah are they your songs or their songs they are their songs okay yeah i'm yeah. still gonna i'm still gonna pick 
because I didn't know what type of artists they were. The only person that I knew was um, Stoneboy. So I have a couple songs that I have ready for Stoneboy that I'm going to send to him when I'm back home. But all the other guys, I just met them, so I didn't know what kind of sound they were into, you know. So now definitely I could, I could, I could pick from the bunch that I have and say, mm -hmm. okay, so oh, you cool. are yet to do songs from your for my, stable for my with side. them. Yeah, for but for side. now, everything you've done, yeah. you've featured them. Yes, so yeah. uh, does it mean you get another time to come shoot videos with them? I have to come back. <laughs> I definitely have to come back. First of all, I need to come back for the Ivy Sun tour. I need to bring it up here, man, because I was shocked when I was, when I was up here, um, well, while I'm up here, um, the amount of fans that I have and the fact that they know about my album and the Ivy Sun tour, it's, it's, it blew my mind and it made me realize I have to bring it here too. I have to bring it here. Too. See. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen in the studio, we're still talking to one of South Africa's finest. His name is Nasty C. In Ghana, your song can be disqualified from our award scheme because of some lyrics in there. Is it like that in South Africa? Um, no, I don't think so, no. Okay. I mean, uh, unless, unless you put out a song that just like encourages like something like drugs or something like that i mean mm -hmm. obviously they keep you off the air because mm -hmm. it's like it's not good for anybody mm -hmm. but if if you just like if you're a person that just like raps like that and it's just like only expression and you're not discriminating against anybody so hurting anybody's feelings at all because i remember when my producers told me you were coming here the little research i wanted to do yeah. about you with the people i know yeah. they said oh nice to see He's fond of swear words in his song. I said, really? And he's that big in South Africa? How is he doing that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they let you express yourself. Probably. Okay. Uh, is it the hip-hop culture in South Africa that, yeah, yeah. whatever you want to say, feel free and say yeah. it? I guess, still be I guess it's that. It's just like the way the hip-hop is, the hip-hop culture is. Mm -hmm. It's just like a lot of confidence and you just bossing up and being whatever you want to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. And nobody has a problem with that? No. Maybe your parents. <laughs> And um, say Radio Airplay, SABC, are they not restricting you guys? Oh yeah, no, definitely. We we have to make clean versions, right? So I don't I don't know who gave you that version, but I need to speak to them. So <laughs> <laughs> no, my my DJs, uh, they edited it. Oh, okay, okay. No, there's yeah. actually a clean version. I, I saw. Then it's my version. I should have sent you the clean version. Oh, you clean. have your own clean. Yeah, version. we always make clean versions for for radio and mm -hmm. you know for that type of market. Like. I, I'm, I obviously can't do this version when I perform at a school and I perform at a lot of schools when okay. there's like a lot of kids mm -hmm. and I can't use that kind of language there. Mm. So How yeah. popular is hip-hop in South Africa? It's, at the moment, I'd say it's the second biggest genre. After which one? After Gom. After Gom. 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 Try <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gom. Gom is really, really like taking over right now. Yeah. Okay. It's just like a fast-paced um house music mm -hmm. it's i mean it's similar to what you guys do up here as mm -hmm. well you know there's there's also a sound that sounds very similar to going with it's like you know that upbeat energy yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That type of and followed by hip-hop yeah followed by hip -hop. okay so who are those names uh crusading the gum or thing you mentioned um from from hip-hop yeah the the biggest mm -hmm. yes sir mm -hmm. I think the guys that are really um, pushing the culture right now in SA would obviously have to be um, a myself, aka Casper. Um, I definitely say um, Ananti is definitely doing it as well. I say Malum Cool Cat is kind of like he he's also a hip hop artist, but he also crossed over a little bit to go. So he can he can do both. So okay. I'm gonna count him because so, he's one of the guys that actually okay. the culture. Mm. There's also people like the Les who've been in the game for like a long time. There's the double HPs who've also like been in the game, like who still influence. You know? I see. Yeah. Now, um, I, I think I, I came across a headline reading uh, some news stories in South Africa where yeah. you said you were let down by AKA. Ah, um, uh, no, that's <laughs> bogus stories. That's just blog people making up their own stories. <laughs> How bogus was it? What was the issue in the first place? I don't know. There's never been an issue. Yeah, there's never been an issue. You could, you could trace our tweets or our posts. We've never thrown jabs or subliminals at each other. We've been cool. He's, mm -hmm. He knew me before mm -hmm. any other industry person knew me. Okay. Yeah, so never was. Now, African music, since you are coming from South Africa, maybe yeah. we can do that discussion. <coughs> African music, are we taking the world? Uh, or we are only, for instance, when you were coming in, like you said, you yeah. were not so sure whether you were known here <laughs> in Ghana. Uh, maybe you performed in other countries as well. No. Are we ready for the world now, Africa? Yeah, I think we're there. I think we've already, we've already started taking over. We're already in process. Because everybody from every corner of the world is paying attention to African artists and African music because, because of the meaning and the value and the substance that it carries. 
You know, it's not just like music where we just praising non-existing things or materialistic things only. We make songs where we sing about our struggles, but in a manner where it makes you feel like we we out of there and, and we doing better now, we moving forward. And a lot of songs that make you big from Africa, like love songs. That's again, that's positivity, that's peaceful, you know. And there's no way to deny that because we're music. I see. Now in Nigeria, how popular is Nasty C? I got surprised the last time I was there. I thought I thought I was okay. I thought I was doing okay there, and then um, I was performing at the homecoming, and it just went crazy. That just it just like solidified my fan base. I, th- I think I'm doing good. I'm gonna come. I don't know why I'm picturing something like you and risk it on a song. Have you done it yet? Or? You have to do it. I, I've only met Wiz once, and it was at a club. So it was like it was also just like kind of like yo, I see what you're doing. Respect, bro. respect, President Mitchell, and then got to do a lot with them. But we need to go on stage. We definitely need to. And I'm I'm boys with my producer, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna he's gonna make that happen. I see. Yeah. <laughs> the, the the songs that you've recorded so far. Yeah. Did you like our production? Um, yeah. maybe from the beats, from the quality, and all that. Did yeah. You like them? Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. As it goes back to what I was saying. Like, our music carries so much like substance, man. Like as soon as you hear the beat, you could you could already picture stuff without any words being on the tongue. You know? So it's like that. Mm. I see. U I B E T award winner, nominee, nominee. Yeah. You've not won yet. No, I haven't. Uh, and yeah. do you see yourself winning soon? Yeah, definitely. After my album. Uh, have you released it yet, or you are yet to release no, it? It's dropping in June. It's called Strings and Blink. Strings, strings and Blink. St- strings and Blink. Yeah. <laughs> strings and Blink. <laughs> I see. To be released in June. June. Yeah. I don't have a date yet, but it's coming. Mm. So, uh, Ferg there. There's special packages there. Mm-hmm. I'm really big on like um, the power of the mind and being positive and just like controlling the universe and designing your own dreams. So there's okay. something special that I added in the album just to help people, mm-hmm. just to wake them up, you know, and, and teach them about that. Mm. So how many times have you been nominated in the BTS yet? Once. 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 Yeah, last.